The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you, DigiKey. This is a time of the week when Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things that you are looking for on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what are you looking for this week? Okay, so on the new Raspberry Pi 5, which I just got today, there are these cool new extra connectors. Can you go to the overhead real fast? And I'll just point them out. So this connector here is the one I'm most interested in. It's called UART. So traditionally, if you wanted to connect to the UART, the debug port of a Raspberry Pi, you'd connect to like these two pins up here, like power, power, ground, RX, and TX. And you'd use something like this. So we'll use this USB console cable, and you would plug these, you know, into uh, the GPIO, and then you could get to the console. Um, which is really helpful if you're running like a headless setup, you don't know the SSH, maybe it's not on the network, you want to just like have root access immediately. So the good news is now that there is this new RP1 chip, um, I'm, I'm assuming, um, I'm still experimenting, I just got this like working yesterday, that this is a separate connection to the hardware UART for console than the pins over here, which would be connected to the hardware serial port. And the hardware serial port is how you'd connect stuff like GPSs. Um, and before, you could only have one or the other. You could either have a console or you could have a GPS. You couldn't have both. But now, I'm pretty sure you can have both because the UART is on a separate connector. So I would like to make a little adapter cable that takes this from the old style pie into this. But this has actually not been... Um, the documentation for this connector hasn't been released that I could find. So I thought I'd show how you could determine um, what the connector is. Now, I kind of know what it is because I just use these connectors all the time. But what if you don't know? What if you're like, I have never seen this before? A really good skill on how to reverse engineer and determine um, what connector it is. So first, I'm going to turn off the Pi. So yeah, I love that on off button. I'm, 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 you only use it like 10 times already. I'm like, this is my number one fan. I mean, this is the fan connector over here. So that's the number one fan, but this number two fan. Okay, so unplug this. So let's get in here and let's zoom. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a three pin connector. It's vertical and it's definitely not 0.1 inch spacing, but we don't know what the spacing is. And it's got this tan connector and you see there's these little nubs on the side. So we want to we want to find the cable that connects to it, but the easiest way to get the cable is actually to first find out the connector is because it's like way easier to identify connectors by image than cables, especially because like there's often the shadowing isn't very clear. Whereas here it's like, you can see the outline very nicely. So the first thing you want to do is find out the connector pitch. Um, so what I do is first off, most connectors are in millimeter pitch, not always big ones aren't, but small ones tend to be in millimeter. So what we want to do is we want to measure between the centers of the two, so the, of the two farthest pins. Now you're probably wondering, well, why don't I want to measure from like two pins close to each other. The reason is it's really hard to like, you're like, oh, is it like 91 or is it like 1.25? The difference in pitches can be like really small and you want to average that um, uh, in, in clarity um, over a larger number because if you're like having difficulty getting to the center of the two pins, at least you have a bunch of pins to divide by. So, um, Okay, so if you have error, you know the error divides out. So let's see. Let's let's try to get. I can also, no, no, this is this is definitely going to be the easiest. So I want to get kind of in the center of the two, and I'm going to do this by looking above. Okay. Hold on. Actually, turns out you can't look at a screen while measuring connector pitch. Okay, that's pretty close. Okay, so I got 1.91. Um, and, you know, just so you know, like, connector pitches aren't going to, you know, they, they can be like 0.95, but they're pretty much never. It's always on the quarter millimeter. So it's like 1 millimeter, 1 1.25, 1 1.5, 2 millimeters, stuff like that. So probably I'm just, my hands aren't as steady. It's 2 millimeters between two pins. So it's 1 millimeter pitch. So let's go to... DigiKey site, so you can go back to the computer. 
And let's look for a uh, connector. I know, you're like, that's kind of vague, but um, we can then look at images to see which one is the closest. So we want something that's closest to this. It's, it's pins and it's a rectangular connector. So let's scroll down, look at some images. Yeah, I mean, like this isn't the connector, but like that's the, that's the idea we've got, something like this, right? But we want a surface mount version. So let's start paring it down. Uh, so first up, we want active and it has one row with three pins and that should cut down like a ton and the mating um so i actually do you know i usually do the number of rows um first or like the number of pins the number of rows first because then i can see like what pitch is available and like i said if you know i had measured 1.8 millimeters between the two pins and 0.9 was available, I'd be like, well, maybe that's a possibility, 0.035 inches. But given that the only options I've got are either 0.81 or 1.2 or 1.25, it's it's definitely going to be one millimeter pitch. So, um, you know, it's just very, calipers, it's really hard to get perfect. You're going to be plus or minus like 10%. So just be flexible. Don't be like, oh, it has to be exact. Okay. And then, um, all right, so that, that already pared down a lot. I, I think it went from, yeah, from 500,000 results to 85. So that's great. Um, okay, and then I want surface mount and, you know, um, upward. Right angle is actually across the board and um, non-right angle is pointing straight up. So that's good. Let's do that. Apply. And then let's uh, search for, you know, normally stocking. Get get rid of some of the, the weird connectors. And then shrouding. Um, so that's, a, that's another thing. So, you know, some connectors, I don't think there's a lot here, like this is unshrouded. There's no, there's nothing going around it. And there's also sometimes connectors that have only like partial shrouding, but we have a shrouded connector. So we might as well, um select that okay so apply all right great so it's only like 20 options now so now we can actually look and see which one is the most similar so let's uh let's actually look over sorry can you uh go back to the computer uh overhead real fast so we can just take a look at this connector all right so it's a tan connector and it's got these little ears and it's got like these you know three contacts and there's these like kind of metal bits here. Um, so you only have 20 options. It's actually not that bad. Uh, can we go back to the um, computer? So uh, there's a couple good looking ones. So this one, uh, let's take a look at this one. I like the 360. So this one, it's close. But it doesn't have the metal metal bits on the side like the other one does. So that's not it. And let's look at this one from Molex. Let's look at the data sheet because there's only a one image. This one looks like it has a little notch, which this connector doesn't have a notch um looks pretty similar it also doesn't have the little ears and also it looks way taller than the, this contact this 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 actually let's measure the depth it's not a bad idea i should have done that to start so the depth is four millimeters so um sorry the height of it should have been four millimeters which if this is this is not this is 5.1 5.4 so this is this is not right either i don't know if they have the height in here. oh insulation height they do so let me actually um let me pare down by the insulation height so like four maybe I'm, I'm off but it's about four millimeters let's see how that does <clears throat> okay so what we've got left you know this doesn't look too bad te very similar but this one is definitely the closest match so let's look at the 360. Okay. Okay, so you can see it's got those ears 
and it's got the metal on the side it's even got the little dots so this is it this is the connector yay okay we found it so it's this the bmo3 b srss so now we know the connector um so now if you want to match with the cable oftentimes at the bottom here you can see associated products and these are items that go with or mate with this connector sometimes they even have there's a lot of information here but yeah mating sometimes they have like you know mating contacts yeah here you go mating products so this is like if you want to build your own cables this is like the matching connector but there are cables available so let's uh let's check this out so yeah so this cable you can get this cable cut it in half and then i can splice it onto um the cable i've got here to make a your cable for the raspberry pi and there it's also available this is a new thing um alternate lengths it's kind of neat so if you don't have you know if happened they didn't have in stock the 12 inch if i don't want the 12 inch you can get the four inch version which yeah you can see the little ear sticking out here uh, and they've got 999 in stock so this is my pick for the great search to connect to the uart port on your raspberry pi 5. and that's a great search Where